Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Majesty the King's personal representatives, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and SCYS's first deputy chairman, Bahrain Olympic Committee president and chairman of the Coordination, Implementation, and Follow up Committee, Istijaba, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Safriya Palace. Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, CYA Secretary General Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, Legal Advisor Noor Youssef, and Istijaba Secretary General Sarah Nooh Al Zwayed were also present. His Majesty lauded the steady progress of the youth and sports movement in the kingdom, citing the honorable landmark achievements attained by Bahraini male and female athletes and their success in reaching podiums at various sports gatherings and competitions. His Majesty the King affirmed the Kingdom's interest in developing all legislation and laws that contribute to advancing the sports and youth movements in addition to continuously updating the system so as to be in conformity with international laws and regulations which constitute an important basis for sports professionalism, expressing hope that Bahrain's national teams and clubs will continue representing the nation successfully in all upcoming sports competitions. His Majesty praised the support and interest of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in promoting the march of sports and youth in a way that would benefit all Bahraini athletes. His Majesty the King commended the tremendous efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid to support sports professionalism through adopting multiple programs and initiatives contributing to building an integrated and advanced sports system at the administrative and technical level levels, which resulted in attaining many distinguished honorable results across various sports fields. His Majesty the King lauded the role played by the Youth and Sports Affairs Ministry to meet the needs of the Bahraini sports and athletes commensurate with the progress currently witnessed by the Youth and Sports Movement. His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant care for the Bahraini sports movement, which attained numerous accomplishments during His Majesty the King's prosperous era. Sheikh Nasser stressed that His Majesty the King's endorsement of the sports professionalism law is a living proof of the royal keenness to support the affiliates of the sports movement and create optimal conditions for them to successfully represent the kingdom at various gatherings. His Highness Sheikh Khalid extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for ratifying and issuing the sports professionalism law, stressing that the law is a modern legislation that copes with the global sports developments and will pave the way for Bahrain athletes to increase the kingdom's achievements during the golden era. Youth and Sports Affairs Minister extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for ratifying and issuing the sports professionalism law, noting that the move reflects the royal keenness to support the sports movement and fulfill the aspirations of Bahraini athletes to move from amateurism to professionalism, which will contribute to increasing achievements. His Majesty the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Jordanian monarch His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's full solidarity with Jordan and its support for all decisions and measures taken by His Majesty King Abdullah II to preserve the security and stability of Jordan and safeguard its gains against any attempt to undermine them. His Majesty affirmed that the security and stability of Jordan is an integral part of the security and stability of Bahrain based on the solid historical ties that bind the two kingdoms. His Majesty called on Allah the Almighty to preserve Jordan and its people under the leadership of His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein. His Majesty the Jordanian monarch expressed his deep appreciation to His Majesty the King for Bahrain's honorable and supportive positions to Jordan and its people, which embody the depth of the strong ties and the distinguished fraternal relations, wishing Bahrain and its people continued progress and prosperity. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa affirmed full support to the decisions and measures taken by His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan to maintain his country's security and stability and defuse all disruptive attempts. His Majesty the King's stance stems from the deep rooted historic relations binding Bahrain and Jordan based on solid fraternity, common faith, shared destiny, and inseparable security. His Majesty the King paid a prayer to Allah the Almighty to bless Jordan with security and stability led by His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein. His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Chairman of the Coordination, Implementation, and Follow up of the Istijaba Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Rifa Palace. Their Highnesses extended their gratitude and appreciation for his. Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's unwavering support to the Kingdom's sports and youth sector and for issuing the sports professionalism law. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's many achievements across the sports sector and praised Bahraini athletes who have contributed to many national, regional and international sporting events. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the importance of further developing the Kingdom's sports and youth sector and in continuing to celebrate its achievements under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended the role and efforts of their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid in strengthening the sports and youth sector in line with the Kingdom's objectives. The meeting was also attended by the General Secretary of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Ma'ayyad. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Hassan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure in the victory of Paris FC team under the slogan Victorious Bahrain against Sochaux's team 2 1 in the 31st week of the French League 2. Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Victorious Bahrain slogan became an important factor of Bahrain's participation in major international events, which will contribute in achieving Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. His Highness stated that the Paris Paris FC team is making continuous successes and is progressively moving towards achieving goals and a promising future for the team. His Highness asserted his support to the team in continuing to achieve the goal of maintaining top positions, wishing the team success in its next match. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, Zahna Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club yesterday held the 24th race of the 2020 to 2021 season at its race course in Rafah Sakhir. The program featured seven rounds on the Cups of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the Cup of the Kuwait Finance House, and the Cup of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. A number of sheikhs and representatives of race sponsors attended the seven rounds round race. Advisor to the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Sheikh Sagar bin Salman Al Khalifa, presented the ministry's this cup for the second, third and fourth rounds to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed and another cup for the sixth round to the owner Abdul Rasul John. KHC Executive Director presented the KFC Cup for the fifth and seventh rounds to its owner Ibrahim Al Afo. The Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the club's cup for the first round to El Raid El Bainin.
The Shura Council held its weekly session remotely presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh. The meeting approved a draft law adding a new article to the penalties law issued by decree number 15 of the year 1976. The council also discussed a draft law which aims to establish an integrated legislative regulation on the environment. The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Abdul Hussein Mirza, unveiled a solar plant at the Bahrain factory for the manufacture and production of steel rods, which was made by the Al Zayani Group's Middle Solar Company. At the opening ceremony, the president presented various solar energy projects, which was carried out within the past few years thanks to the kingdom's ability to attract foreign direct investment as well as the friendly environment it offers for renewable energy projects by national and international companies. He said that such projects ensure the sustainability of Bahrain's economy and its diversification in line with the comprehensive development plans and economic vision of 2030. The president added that Medal Solar will contribute through its role in the sustainable national energy objectives by increasing the overall portion of such energy to 5% by 2025 and 10% by 2035. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif bin Rashid Zayani, expressed Bahrain's pride in world country celebration of the International Day of Conscience, convinced that the human conscience is the real motive for promoting the values of peace, coexistence and brotherhood among global nations. He added that Bahrain is proud of being a pioneer in the United Nations adoption of the 5th of April as an International Day of Conscience based on the initiative of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Salman al Khalifa, as the kingdom recognizes that various countries in the world are suffering from serious problems such as poverty, hunger, and disease, and it believes in the necessity of international cooperation to reach urgent solutions to global problems. The minister stated that the kingdom, led by His Majesty the King, has been keen on dealing with the COVID 19 crisis in accordance with the rules of international laws and covenants, while also upholding the ideals and values in which the kingdom believes, including sympathy, brotherhood and humanitarian cooperation among the people of the world. He added that Bahrain has handled the crisis and its repercussions with the utmost political and humanitarian responsibility and provided citizens and residents with free tests, treatment and vaccination, as well as all the necessary health and social services. The Minister of Housing Engineer Basim Bin Yagub Al Hamar visited the East Tetra housing project where he reviewed the progress of the project procedures supervised by SCM IC Corporation. The Minister affirmed the end of the burial and land settlement phase of the project, marking the start of building the infrastructure and carrying out construction work for residential units in the city to begin construction work for the first housing unit on civilian land east of Sitra. He noted that this project will provide about 3,000 units and housing service that meets the aspirations of thousands of Bahraini families. Al Hamar praised the Royal Directives to provide 40,000 housing units to citizens and commended the continuous follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Housing Distributions. He affirmed that the Ministry works according to the aspirations and visions of the government in addition to the housing commitments and its current plan of 2019 to 22 to accelerate the pace of housing work through innovation solutions that meet the needs and desires of citizens. The Food is Culture Festival concluded its sixth edition today at the Pearling Path Visitor Center in Muharraq. The event brought together Bahraini artist and photographer Ghada Khunji with, cha with chef Irvin Morales from Cantina Kala Restaurant. Also present were the Director General of Culture and Arts, Her Excellency Sheikh Ahala bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, and a limited number of culture enthusiasts in the Kingdom of Bahrain and media representatives. So we meet this evening at the Pearling Path Visitor Center at the heart of the heritage city of Muharraq. We are finalizing Food is Culture. This wonderful experience has been going on for six years. Special thanks to the wonderful artist Ghada Khunji for her collaboration with Cantina Kalo's chef. Um, I look forward to future editions of Food is Culture. I thank all the guests who have joined us today. We're all following the, uh, the national guidelines and we're a small group, but hopefully 
hopefully uh, the content of this festival, of this collaboration between the chefs and the artists will be produced in a publication very soon. First of all, I'm very, very thrilled to be part of Food is Culture 6. So it's been happening for many, many years and I think it's such a fantastic concept to bring something like taste into into the art itself because it all all the senses get used and I did it as an homage to my favorite artist Frida Kahlo and sort of embodied her and um, you know wanted to mix my own culture which is from Bahrain but also with Mexico and, and you know both of us actually were related to each other Mexicans and Arabs so um, so I took these three different scenes the first scene was with the birds which expresses freedom uh, the second scene expressed uh, power and the third scene is sort of life, love and death and, you know, those kinds of emotions. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 527,339 had taken the first dose, dose of the vaccine, while 270,585 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for its community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 9,683 with 728 recoveries, 1,316 registered new cases and two deaths. 321 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 931 are contacts of active cases and 64 are travel related. The deceased were 91 and 93 year old citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.